you. So arrest me. Yes. What? No. We're going to the hospital, okay? You'll no, I don't want to You'll go. You'll be safe there. They're going to take care of you. I don't want to go yet. I don't want to go yet. How dare you? You don't take me. Thank you. No. Yeah, it's staying open. Yeah. Do not take me anywhere now. Unfortunately, no, I don't yes, want to. She's, she's gonna have to be boosted up. Yeah. Do not take me anywhere yeah. now. Yeah, I got it. No. Sheet right here. Yep. You got it? Yep. Mom, I don't approve of any of this, but they're going to arrest me if I try to stop them. I'm not fighting you. You're fighting me. Leave me in the house. You're like trying to Leave me in the house. 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 No. I think they want to get her. No, leave me in the house. No, leave me in the house. 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 Lena, they Where's said the that you have restraints? to go to the hospital. No! It's mandated. Right we have to no! do it. No! 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 How is this health care? We have to get you checked out. I want God, not you. Okay. I want God, not you. You can look out. Leave me alone. You're embarrassing me. Leave me alone. Good. Good. What's that? You're good up there. We're going to have to. Leave me in my house. ALS Leave me in my house. Come over. I don't. So what are you trying to do? Why are you picking me out? Yeah, I'm not trying to pick on you in any way. I'm concerned because it seems like you have medications that aren't here, right? Mm -hmm. That will keep you healthy because they're at where you were living. My doctor right? does, it, does that for me. You yeah. want to come in? Can I yeah, so, that'd be great. Why do you think that, I'm, that I don't have a doctor that <laughs> looks after me? So something that we didn't talk about before because I'm not... I'm not professional. Am like I, kidding I don't, I don't have that expertise. Road? Is that there is okay. medications yeah, that you're in need of, and that's one of the reasons that you need to go to the hospital. Can show you something. Yep. So in there, I won't show you too much. Is so, more to the side. Uh, Mary Hope, the alleged caregiver, is living in, uh, in the garage. I'll show you. <coughs> we watch you. the alert. Yeah. Those are Mary Ho's boxes. There's a caregiver who's been for a few days do stuff like that normally. That's that's the caregiver's stuff, yes. Jonathan? Yes. Okay, so do you want that out of here? I, I do. My okay. mother last one week ago okay. she told Mary Ho, she yeah. wasn't present in the house, okay. not to come back. It's okay. recorded in, in the sheriff's office. Okay. And then um, two days later, my mother is the one who's removed from the house. Mary Ho okay. was here when my mother was removed. Okay. Why was it medically necessary? For so, so basically nuts and bolts of this is you want Mary Ho to get her stuff out of this house because she's no longer employed in those services, correct? No, my mother made the independent decision okay. to tell Mary Ho to leave. Okay. And then the two of us wrote, uh, then we went down to the sheriff's office, Zone C, okay. spoke with Sergeant Toomey. Okay. Uh, she said nothing criminal had happened, but we wanted police involved. Sure. And then we told Mary Ho by text and by email, uh, to the two of us, mm -hmm. um, that she can arrange a time mm. to have sheriff deputies come with her okay. to remove her belongings. She did not reply. Two days later, Mary Ho comes here with two of my brothers and and um, the, the Monroe County sheriffs, okay. although they didn't say who they were, so I didn't know who they were at sure. the time, if Brockport or not. And then I thought they were here to force us to have Mary Ho in the house again. Mm. But then after 30 minutes, my mother's gone. And they tell me that my brothers took her on a drive to maybe to have dinner. And then my mother did not return later that night. And then I hadn't seen her for five days until today. This is my house. I own it. Yep. I was a college no professor. No I was a know. member of the Board of Regents for a long time. I'm living happily here by myself. Yep, that's fine. This oh, is one of my sons 
Oh, I do not want you, you to bother. Are you doing We're not going for a ride. You're just going for a ride. I'm not okay. going for a ride. No one's going. For I'm not going for a ride. No one's going. For and I don't want you to ask me any more questions. This is my son, and this is a good man. Not only was he high up in his class at Harvard University, coming second, but he's my son. That I want him around here. He's the youngest of my four sons. He has a PhD. Hey, ma also. Ma they, well, they're, ma they're, they're just listen to the betrayal. Um, we told yes. I am going to tell it's my mother my what is going on. Listen. And, and we, so, we well, told them, they tried to force this woman. They tried to force this woman. And he's trying to talk over me now, so you can't hear me. They tried to force this woman to live in this house. No, I don't know. Really we told her to go. This is the woman who is uh, there. I have the whole garage. I have got the bedroom. I've got the den. You know. How much more do you, are you going to take? Just this. this. Just, just this? this. Okay. Yes, because I plan to return to the house. Yeah, of course. So, so you're good now then? Yeah, good for now until okay. he leaves right. and then we got to change the locks. Right. No, I have the whole garage. I have got the bedroom. I've got the den. You know. How much more do you, are you going to take? Just this. this. Just, just this? this. Okay. Yes, because I plan to return to the house. Yeah, of course. So, so you're good now then? Yeah, good for now until okay. he leaves, and then we got to change the locks. This woman is trying to force her way into our house. We sent her information saying that the only time we sent her information saying that the only way she could come back was by making a prearranged time with sheriff's deputies. They did not make a prearranged time. I have my they, 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 they made a surprise visit with these two who are supposed to be your sons, who are assisting this woman who wants to force her way into your house. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's go. I don't Here, want you. Hold, hold on to my arm. Hold on to my arm, dear. And I want to just stay in the car and not leave in my property. You can stay, you can stay in the car with you. Watch, watch your step. I, I, can, I, I watch my step. Do you need a hand? I, I can watch my step. What is happening to what, my son? What happened? Mom, she, she, she it's insisted on, I, I couldn't keep her in the car. Let's go outside. Me, yeah, let's so you have to come with me, Mom. No, to approve of it. Mom, once you leave, they're going to do something terrible. Let, is she required on. to leave? Not is she not required to leave? Is she not required to leave? This is a not helping. You are not helping the situation. You are not helping the situation. I am helping the situation. you are not. Because I do not know what the law is. We need to have contact with our lawyers. Then you can do I don't want to do that. Enough. They won't as long as we get going. They're making the situation. What you want, my house? So, no, no, one, no one wants the house. Oh, we have to step out. We, we told Ho that she, we could, she could arrange a time and come with sheriff's deputies to remove her belongings. But it looks like your, your, your intention is to force my mother to have this woman live here permanently. Calendar on our kitchen table, it says there's a church concert that she's supposed to go to. Okay. Not our church, but a church. Maybe my mother. Okay, so that's not ago. that's not your church then, St. Luke's. No, our church is, is okay. Fourth Section Road, but my mother okay. may have gone that to makes, that church. Nope, that makes perfect ago. sense. But regardless, I, I was guessing would she be there, and she was there. Okay. So, contrary to what um, uh, the supervisor said, I, because I treat my mother like an adult, mm -hmm. said, I explained to her that Mary Ho had helped kidnap her, and then my mother said, let's go. So Jonathan, I know Mary she step out of the way. she's and got some stuff to say. Mary but has more stuff upstairs. Um, do you want to see it? No, it's okay. okay. I believe you. She took the bedroom that my mother had been sleeping in for a decade. Christopher and Anthony wouldn't know that because they've been, uh, except for the last few months, Christopher, uh, um, before the pandemic, visited maybe once a year for the previous eight years. Okay. okay. Anthony, before the pandemic, visited maybe three times in eight years. Uh, they called once every several months during the pandemic, Anthony and Christopher. They care so much about our mother. Uh, so they wouldn't know that my mother had been sleeping in that room for the past 10 years. But my mother then moved to a new room, which still has more of Mary Ho's stuff in it. Two okay. gigantic suitcases, no, bigger than any I've ever even attempted to lift in my life. And my <laughs> mother's big. belongings are strewn on the floor in disarray, Aww. and my mother doesn't like disarray. Yeah. So yeah. It's cl it, this is all in less than eight days. Yeah. So it's clear exploitation of my mother. In so, addition to my mother's telling me that she felt, uh, she had never felt on, as, on January, on uh, Monday, January 23rd, and Monday, January 24th, she called me. She said she had never felt as stepped on as on this day. She had never, she felt, Mary Hall made her feel like an idiot dog. Yeah.
I'm a social worker. I just spoke with um, the facility that your mom was placed at. Yeah. Okay. And I spoke to her physician there. Yeah. Right. And so the decision that I'm trying to make right now, right, is in your mom's best interest based on her medical doctor's advice, right? It's not well, just. Wait, wait. Dr. Garg? That's her medical doctor, not whoever's at this facility. Who, who, that well, it changes when she goes to a facility. Okay. So then no, it's so, called her doctor, but he doesn't. Can, know. I, can I finish just a little bit? Uh, yeah, I'm letting okay. you finish. But I have to interject whenever false statements are made. Okay. Or in misleading. Um, so the doctor that I just spoke with said that your mom does not have capacity anymore and that she has short-term memory, right? Uh, yes, I've known she's and had she short-term has... memory loss for years. So why didn't you come in with police three years ago? Because at this point, it's becoming a danger to her, right? Yeah, it, it's not. It, actually, nothing changed. The only thing that changed last Tuesday mm -hmm. was that two days before, she told Mary Holm not to, uh, so the not other to return. Piece. She has been more confused in the past three weeks since Mary Holm moved in. Mm -hmm. than she has been in the previous several years. Mm -hmm. And the only other times I've seen her as confused were uh, when she had low blood sugar, mm -hmm. which happened you know, when she was given sugar, then she was sure. fine again. Okay. So this is the, um, so yes, I do believe she's uh, being harmed okay. under the control of Mary Ho. So based on what you're saying about Mary Ho, I agree with you. 200% that it sounds like it was a very unhealthy situation for your mom and that she was being taken advantage of. Yeah. So based on what you're saying about Mary Ho, I agree with you 200% that it sounds like it was a very unhealthy situation for your mom and that she was being taken advantage of. Yeah. No, I have the whole garage. I have got the bedroom. I've got the den. You know. How much more do you, are you going to take? Just this. this. Just, just this? this. Okay. Yes, because I plan to return to the house. Yeah, of course. So, so you're good now then? Yeah, good for now until okay. he leaves and then we've got to change the locks. So I'm completely on the same page as you yeah. with that. Um, and it does seem like I, I'm glad that you sought out the assistance of the sheriffs in dealing with that, right? Yeah. Because it becomes a legal issue when they move their things in. Yeah. So it sounds like you're taking really good care of your mom um, with the Mary Ho situation. Since I was here from mid-March 2020 mm -hmm. to the late August 2022, mm -hmm. with the exception of 10 days, during which she was fine, she was by herself, um, her memory issues did not um, get worse. They didn't get better. But they didn't get worse. My primary concern was her not getting the coronavirus anyway. Um, but the uh, so they actually haven't gotten worse, except in the last three weeks or so after Mary Ho moved in. Mary Ho's things being here threw yes. her off. Yeah. Her clothes being on the floor instead threw her off. There's a lot of stuff going on someone here. Someone like Mary Ho too, it's much easier for her to take advantage of someone who has dementia, right? The short term yes, memory. Exactly. So that might be one of the factors too that had Dr. Gard sign off on putting her under 24-7 I mean, I, I, I don't right? know what his reasoning is. Yeah. So I, I don't know what is going on with my brothers yeah. Christopher and Anthony. Or so it Christmas. sounds like to me but you're doing a picture. most of the emotional work right? And uh, actually being present and taking care of your mom and you're feeling like disenfranchised by these other brothers you have who are making decisions behind your back when uh, you are present. Well, the, the decision making um, behind my back happened very suddenly. Mm -hmm. So Christopher informed me that he was going to move Mary Ho in mm. about, it may have been January 11 or January 12. Okay. He said he was going to send Mary Ho's stuff there that Saturday and I said, no, this is the problem with making unilateral decisions. We don't know Mary Ho. Mm -hmm. He lies and says she's a friend. He doesn't know her, mm -hmm. by which I mean we hardly know her. Right. I know her better than she does than he does. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna say basically it's fair for me to say I don't know. Her. Certainly now after what happened, I can certainly say I didn't know who this person was. Um, what happened was I met her about ten years ago. I don't even remember how. I remember having uh, coffee or something like that, like that with her in a Pittsburgh cafe about ten years ago. I had met her through my brother Felipe, and. He now tells me that he went out with her a couple of times. Is he local too? He is not. I'm the only one who comes here. The Do you live in Rochester? Rockport? No, I live right here. Oh, I work in, in Baltimore. Okay. But I've, even when I was working in Baltimore, and even when I had an apartment in Baltimore, which I do not now, I would consider this where I lived. And I came back here um, all for the vacations. Since I teach, I have vacations four and a half months of the year. You teach college? I teach college. College. So is that how you ended up? being able to be here for the pandemic and all that to live with her is because you were able to switch to an online format in opposition uh, uh, to being in person? Uh, actually, or? no, because no. Anthony, who cares so much about um, our mother that he's threatening me um, right now for helping her, the, um, he also teaches, but he wasn't here. Now, during the pandemic, I just wanted, we were secluded, so I didn't <laughs> want people coming. Um, but before the pandemic, he didn't come either.
what is to become of me under such locked in circumstances. I hope it changes and the normal style emerges, normal for me. Jonathan had scholarships all to the top. I never had to pay a penny for him. So I think it rightful that since he doesn't have a wife and children, and I didn't have to be paying big money to, to Harvard University and University abroad. But I haven't even talked to, him, to them about it. They're just guessing. So, if you were me, who would you make sure has somewhere to over his head, a roof over his head? The one younger, young guest, yes, but the one who has no wife or any children big enough to help him say, "Oh, come on." No. So they're not thinking straight. If they're thinking that way at all. And maybe other people are just guessing. I know that he will need to be left with whatever physical property I have that he can sell and buy a house in Washington, D.C. Teaches in a black college in Washington, D.C. I don't think he makes as much money as the others. Has no wife. Don't you see how I think? Yes, I understand. I think it's a, an accurate way of thinking. Yes. And then the others all went to Harvard too. And I knew that they borrowed money. But then I picked when they were finished with Harvard. And you know, after their paying sometimes. I, 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 my husband and I wiped it out for every single one of them. What would you have thought was best for me here that wasn't um, better in Brockport? I'm not sure. I'm not sure why they brought you here. Because here, I don't know the neighbors and I have to start learning about them. Whereas in Brockport, everybody knows my name. Even those who haven't talked to me know my name and know I have seen my person walking up and down Main Street, Brockport, in the bank, in the stores, in the post office every day. And I am in that little center of that city. do that, squint my eyes, but I may have hit myself on my own um, metal, semi-metal thing. Look, look there. I wonder what happened. Well, I have metal there on the table. I wonder if you fell. Maybe I could go and ask them. Did I see the doctor when this happened? Right. Oh my goodness, it looks like it's very sore. It hurts so much. It does hurt, and even just it, it doesn't pain me a great deal. I could ask them if I've seen the doctor about.